Hey guys, this is Anna Covered Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be talking about Quake Champion's fundamentally broken netcode. Now, as you can see, I'm loading into a game. In the top left hand corner, I have my frames per second sitting around 140. Now, if we go and tab into my net limiter, I can go and show you what my uh, upload and download is that Quake is pulling. So, as you can see, 20 kilobytes per second for the download, you know, 387 bytes. But now it is rising. In the normal screen, it was, you know, a one kilobyte around, which is fine. But when you're in a game, it's pulling 50 kilobytes per second. For an Australian player like me, my ADSL 2 Plus connection, that is, you know, more than half my upload speed it is pulling right now from one game which is abnormal. Most video games won't pull that amount. Really, really weird why it is doing this. A lot of people have been trying to work it out, but I think I've got a good reason why Quake is pulling so much information and uploading it to their servers. If we go to my fraps right here, as you can see, I've got it bind F9. If I press F9, my video capture, it goes and locks my frame rate to 30 frames per second. So what we're going to do, I'm going to lock my frame rate to 30 frames per second and have a look at the upload rate. So I'm going to go and press uh, F9 right now. I've locked my frame rate and have a look at my upload. Look at what my upload will do. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. 32, 21, 7, 3, 2. That is acceptable upload rates for a video game. 3 kilobytes per second, you know, around the around the mark. 5 kilobytes, 6 kilobytes, whatever. But 60? Incredibly, incredibly high. And it's all linked to frame rate. Basically, the more FPS you go and get in-game, the more you will go and upload to Bethesda's servers. This is overall a really aggressive strategy from Bethesda, trying to go and get as much information as possible. But it makes absolutely no sense why they would be doing this. Why is it linked to frames per second? If you have decent internet, you'll be A-OK. -okay. However, I'm running on ADSL 2 Plus, which is basically the best that I can get in my area right now. And Quake Live, it's uploading more than half of my upload bandwidth, bandwidth at the moment, which is completely unacceptable. If we go and put it down to three frames per second or four fr frames per second, and now we go and lock the frame rate, make it drop a ton. As you can see, it will drop a ton, but in the end of it, why is it transmitting all of this information to the servers? It makes no sense. Two kilobytes per second is what I would be expecting from a video game. League of Legends, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, at the maximum will uh, uh, upload five kilobytes per second. But 60? It's weird. Basically, your frame rate is linked to how much it uploads. And overall, if you're from Australia and you're running 144 hertz monitors and you're getting like 200 frames per second, you are going to be lagging quite considerably. So overall, if you're playing the beta and you want to have a good experience, cap your frames per second, you know, using a program like Bandicam or something like that. It wasn't working when I was recording. That's why I'm using Fraps, but use Bandicam and Cap your FPS at, let's say, 100, and then overall you will have a decent experience. But Bethesda really needs to go and show why this is happening. 45 kilobytes per second is incredibly, incredibly bad. There is no reason why it should be this high. But with all of that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and like the video. Make sure to go and subscribe for more Quake Champions content. But from that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.